The Indominus Rex, Jurassic Park's first ever hybrid, standing at over 20 feet in height and 50 feet in length, with the ability to camouflage and lower its body temperature. The Indominus Rex is one of the most powerful theropods to ever show up in the Jurassic Park series, but the question of today is, can this Indominus Rex take out Kong, a 100 foot tall gorilla that is still growing by the day. For this battle, we will be scaling up the Indominus Rex to over 100 feet in height. If you thought the Indominus Rex was scary at 20 feet in height, just think about 100. So our last video on this topic was, can 1000 Indominus Rexes take out Godzilla? The Indominus Rexes failed to do this and they would get taken out by Godzilla one by one. But instead of using a large amount of Indominus Rexes, why not just use one? So here we have the Indominus Rex going eye to eye with Kong. Like I said earlier, the Indominus Rex has the ability to camouflage. It is very powerful as well with those huge jaws and a very powerful bite force. While Kong, on the other hand, has a very powerful bite force as well and very powerful arms. As we saw in the Kong School Island trailer, Kong was able to swipe out a helicopter like a human would swipe a fly out of the air. Both of these creatures are very intelligent, the Indominus Rex being the smartest dinosaur to ever show up in the Jurassic Park series. And as we saw in King Kong 2005, King Kong was very intelligent, so just imagine that times four. One of the main differences in this fight is fighting experience. Kong lives on Skull Island, an island infested with different monsters such as the Skull Crawlers, huge water buffalo, huge spiders, a bunch of different monsters that are very dangerous, especially to Kong. And like we saw in King Kong 2005, Kong was able to take out three V-Rexes, and these V-Rexes are five feet taller than the Indominus Rex, and over 10 feet longer. And just think about that, Kong at 25 feet in height was able to take out three V-Rexes that were over the size of the Indominus Rex. So let's look at the ways that the Indominus Rex would be able to take out Kong. So as we know, the Indominus Rex can camouflage. If Kong is walking by a tree, let's say, and he is very unaware of his surroundings, the Indominus Rex can get an easy blindside on Kong. It could either charge at Kong, go right for Kong's neck, and, and bite right down on Kong's neck with that very powerful bite force. Not only does the Indominus Rex have a very powerful bite force, but the Indominus Rex also has very long, very powerful arms. This is very unusual for a dinosaur, especially like the Indominus Rex. The Indominus Rex also has those claws, and it was very useful in the fight against the Tyrannosaurus Rex in Jurassic World. It was able to claw at the T-Rex's head, eventually pulling it down, and almost killing the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is something the V-Rexes definitely lacked, and if they had longer arms and sharper claws, the fight could have gone a lot differently, and the Indominus Rex, with its intelligence, could use multiple different strategies to take out Kong and kind of wear Kong down after a while. The Indominus Rex was definitely one of the most formidable dinosaurs in Jurassic World and was definitely not easily taken down. As we saw when the Mosasaur bit down on the Indominus Rex's neck, the Indominus Rex didn't even die on impact. Kong and the Indominus Rex are definitely very similar in this aspect. In their movies, they both go through a bunch of different things. In King Kong 2005, King Kong went through 3v Rexes, a bunch of different bullets, planes, tranquilizers. He went through basically everything. The Indominus Rex also went through a lot of things. The Indominus Rex went through an Ankylosaurus, three Patasauruses, missiles, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, two Velociraptors, and a Mosasaur. So we're going to look at the way Kong would kill the Indominus Rex. This is very similar grounds to King Kong 2005. King Kong's main way of killing his opponents was to break their jaws. King Kong, with its strength, could easily pick up the Indominus Rex regardless of its size. King Kong could also bite down on the Indominus Rex, leaving a huge mark and putting the Indominus Rex in a lot of pain. So obviously Kong has the bite force, the powerful arms, and overall, it's just a lot stronger than the Indominus Rex. Now, we do know that this fight would be a long, drawn-out battle. I feel like Kong would definitely be in a lot of trouble in this fight, but overall, I think he would come out as the winner in this fight. Kong just seems to be way too intelligent, way too powerful, and almost seems unbeatable by most dinosaurs. He was able to take out three V-Rexes in King Kong 2005 when he wasn't even 100 feet in height. Think of what he can do at this size now. And he is still growing by the day, like I said earlier. But leave your ideas in the comment section below. Do you think the Indominus Rex would actually be able to take out Kong? This is not to bash on the Indominus Rex in any way. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, guys, leave a like and have a nice day.